Hey, we're here at booth 3400 with Philip Wilson of Extreme Engineering, and nice to see you guys hey, back at IAP again this year. they got some great new innovation going on with you guys once again. Tell yeah. us what's behind us here. Oh, well, we just keep getting things crazier and crazier, and this year we decided that wakeboard sports is definitely the way to go. Board sports traditionally have just been more popular with snowboarding and wakeboarding and skateboarding. So what we've done is we've taken our... We've <laughs> taken... I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> stay here. We're stay here. Our, stay here with me, buddy. Jumper technology. And now we have a wakeboard themed jumper where people can simulate 30 feet up in the air uh, and actually wear wakeboards and do stunts and tricks. And if you look on the trailer here, we have it with a wakeboard tower. We can blare your favorite music through your MP3 player now. Best of all, what we like about it and what our operators are liking about this is it's half the operating space from our previous models. So now they can operate in a 30 by 40. And then we got more price sensitive with the product. Now it's about $4,000 cheaper than our older models. So it's cheaper, less space, and easier to operate. So those are key things to do. So Right on. And you guys have really stepped up, I've noticed, walking yeah. around the booth here this year with your theming and stuff. Is that what customers are saying or just something you guys you, you thought would? You know, we're in the amusement industry, and theming is key. If you don't theme something, it's not as fun. I think you have to have some sort of pizzazz. There's a, there's a lot of offshore, a lot of uh, you know competitors coming into the market here yeah. now in North America, and everybody's very price uh, uh, sensitive. We know that. Yeah. But you get what you pay for. That's a universal truth. You do. That is so very true. So tell me a little bit when people are looking for um, indoor, outdoor climbing walls right. or any of the other bungee products you have here. Really, what do they need to be watching yeah. out for? Well, you know, one thing to watch out for is, and I, I'm going to stress it again, and again, and again, is USA made is the best. I mean, I. I'm passionate about that because I've, I've been a firm believer in that. I've had both sides of the coin where I've owned something internationally, something from the U.S. Um, you get what you pay for. That's absolutely right. Price is something you can always negotiate. That's a variable co price. Right. Cost is very different. Right. And what I mean by cost is what does it cost in terms of five years of ownership? What are the things I have to maintain? What is the service issues I'm going to have? Those are the things that people need to look at at anything they buy, whether it's a rock wall, the wake setter, or anything, a bounce house. Those are things you have to consider. Hold on, someone's asking about fun. Is fun your business? Was it